Hey guys, what's up? Jason here. So this video is going to be like a tutorial video because I wondered a lot about this. I haven't really looked up a lot about this. But what you see here, the coin that you see here, I don't know how good you guys are going to be able to see this. It's a, uh, almost, it's a pretty slicked out 1904 uh, barber half. Now... When I bought the, I bought this dirt cheap. I think I got this for like, well, not really dirt cheap, but pretty cheap for a barber half. I think eight bucks. I think it's not really a valuable coin. I think it's just a 1904 plane. It's too slick. Couldn't see a mint mark if there is one. That was the back. Anyway, you're probably wondering why do I have two metal plates here? Well, when I bought this coin, this coin was bent terribly. Uh, it was like somebody took the back. It was bent like, uh, almost like in a bowl shape, but not, you know, like in a bowl shape. But when you, you know, tapped it, you guys can probably see it's still bent. But it would really, like, when you just tapped it with your finger, it would just, like, you know, like, jump up in the air and then come, you know, how something, like, really bent. I will, uh, you know, under the pressure of your finger, just on one side, it'll flip up in the air. Well, I, what I did, you can see these are plates that I found metal detecting. There's a solid uh, square one there, and then a little thicker one with holes on this side. So literally what I did, I took an old, uh, hold on guys, I gotta set this camera down so I can show you guys. Let's see here. Now I've got the uh, old, uh, the square plate, the solid, uh, thinner square plate on the bottom. I'm not going to cover it up all the way so you guys can see. But, uh, I just took an old, uh, washcloth. And, uh, you know, folded it up so the plate's just sticking out so you guys can see. But I had the plate completely under the washcloth. And then what I did, I folded the washcloth basically over like in half, and I put this, uh, the other plate, where does the other plate, mm, that's, that's lovely, oh, it's right there, uh, -huh. uh, I put the other plate over it, and really just took my trusty, uh, friend the hammer here, and, uh, it, uh, the, when I put the other plate over, it, mind you, this was folded in half, put the coin inside, put the other plate exactly over the coin, over the top of the other one, and uh, really hammered the heck out of this, the top plate. That worked a little bit, but then I discovered uh, just uh, taking the top plate off and just hitting on the wash rag, the wash, the washcloth, wash rag, whatever, uh, just lighter, and that seemed to work better, just having... Let me fold this over. I'm going to not cover up the coin so you guys can see, but... Well, I'm not going to cover it all the way. But... Y'all get the deal. The, uh... You know, I just folded the washcloth over the coin. Now, mind you, this would be even. And just hitting the top layer of the washcloth with the hammer. And that straightened it out pretty good. It's never going to be completely straight, but it's a lot better than what it was. So, I want to know you guys' opinions on this. I would not do this on a valuable coin at all, but this half dollar is just so slicked out. I don't even care. Uh, <clears throat> plus, I have other 1904 barber hats, so I don't really care. But anyway, guys, I want to know you guys' opinions on this. Uh, I've heard of putting it in between two pieces of wood. And, uh, if I was thinking, I would have made this into a, a nice video showing a before and after shot of it. But, literally, when it was setting down, it looked like there was a toothpick under one side. That's how high up one side was. It was pretty bent. And, uh, yeah, so, I'm glad I, uh, don't ask me why I just did that. Uh, I'm glad I got this, uh, back to, uh, normal. And, uh, yeah, guys, I want to know your opinions on this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace out.